Hi, I'm Andreas and I'm back with my robot arm project. Uh, today I will show you a first demonstration of the gripper. I told you my goal is uh, to hold a cup of coffee. So I actually have a cup of coffee with coffee in it and the gripper. And it basically can hold the cup of coffee. And Currently, I just can open and close the fingers. Uh, the fingers uh, have uh, can move independently. Uh, it's a three finger design and um, that's actually a little problem because I copied the mechanics from a, a industrial uh, grade gripper I saw on YouTube. I post a video in the description and I watch it about 50 times or more to understand how they did the mechanics and it's quite a clever construction because the fingers snap always in the right position if you want to grasp something. So especially, uh, it quite works. As you see, the fingers warp always around the object. It's gripping. And the second one is these uh, tweezers mechanics. That is not automated yet. I have to do it by hand. And so you can pick up small parts in, in theory. Um, for example, something like that. Uh, especially if you put the fingers uh, on the default position or snap in the, the middle finger, you have a nice uh, tweezer uh, grabbing or you can grab large objects it's fully printed I printed even uh, the, the gears it's a, it consists of the small DC motors uh, they cost about uh, six euros and uh, has 100, 180 rotations per minute I think a motor with a gear. You can buy them with uh, 60, 120, 180, 800, 500, 600, nearly every rotation speed you need. And they're quite cheap and powerful and very light. The whole gripper is about 250 grams or something like that. Okay, you have two different kind of uh, levers or handles here. Who one is uh, moving freely and blocks at a 90 degree position in my prototype here it's not working so at a certain angle the fingertip starts moving par in parallel uh, the second uh, handle is uh, uh, connected to the warm drive and do all the mechanical actions uh, so if, if one joint is blocking the other will, will grab around. That's quite clever. The springs are only here to set uh, the fingertip in always the right position. And here is my final version, more or less. I'll optimize it a little. As you notice, I had uh, screws uh, in the joints here. And uh, this one contains of uh, carbon fiber tubes that I cut in small pieces and use them as bearings and carbon fiber roots as joints. It's quite, you can buy them quite a few dollars per meter and they have very less friction and you can use a little tip of super glue to, to fix them in the 3D printed part. It, sh it should be 
very uh, enough uh, strength for normal hobby gripping action. For a demonstration of the strength of the gripper, I have a generic beverage bottle here. It's 1.5 liters and it's closed. So and I can lift it. And you see a little bit the weak point the moment it's directly mounted to the hobby server and I don't know how robust these bearings here are but if you move it around it looks quite good and actually I had a little problem I lost a cable from one of the motors so it's a little difficult to open it. So, um, give me a minute to solder the cable back on. Cut. Okay, I soldered the wires back on. And all fingers are still moving. Um, for some other demonstration of the force, I have an empty beverage bottle. You can hear it cracking a little bit and if I open the bottle. I'm pretty sure if you use a little bit stronger motors or uh, you can uh, get a lot of torque out of this construction. Maybe ha you have to enlarge the uh, lever, lever uh, again a little bit and make all the fingers a little more bumpy to uh, get a, or a bigger gears or something like that. But overall, I'm quite happy with the result. It's a fantastic design. I want to, um, as it's quite genius. These guys who uh, created the original or the industrial version are really clever people. But unfortunately, um, I would bought one of their products, but it costs twenty thousand uh, dollar or 17,000 euros, it's way out of a normal uh, hobby budget for something like that. And of course it's metal and mine, mine is all plastic and can grasp a lot of more. Um, but overall I really like the design. Um, I'm not sure if I can publish the STL files because I don't want to get any patent problems or get sued by, by this company. Um, so I don't know, maybe you can post some comments and, and well, give me some advice how to deal with the situation. If you use it for private, there's no problem. But if you make the public and ha they have a patent, I don't know. But overall, this is the gripper for my robot arm project. It will be mounted something like this. Quite impressive. I, so I really like the design. I started to uh, redesigning uh, the lower section here with a DC motor and a, a 
very powerful gear box. They should arrive the next few days. I'm currently printing new version of the uh, base section of the robot arm, so stay tuned.